I'm Melissa Brown, and I'm the Director of Diversity, Wellbeing, and Global Education at Holton Arms. And I'm here with a group of very, very special student leaders. Um, the leaders from two steering committees, the steering committee for the Student Diversity Conference for Upper School and Middle School, and the Let's Talk About It Forum. What is the Upper School Diversity Conference? And what are the Let's Talk About It Lunch Forums? Yeah, so the conference is a student-led initiative to promote awareness of and action towards complex issues of diversity, equity, and inclusion within the student body. Um, each year, the steering committee selects an overarching theme. This year it was anti-racism and sets it as the objective for the conference. We also plan a middle school conference. As for let's talk about it, however, we believe that some of these topics are too important to just talk about on one day. So these forums are once a month um, during lunchtime to talk about current events and how they relate to our core identifiers. Um, and so this is a way that we can sort of normalize having difficult conversations. So when students get to the conference, they're ready to attack these difficult conversations. And some examples that we've done recently have been with affirmative action. We invited um, one of our college counselors as a guest speaker. We collaborated with the Jewish Culture Club um, for a forum on anti-Semitism. And we've split into small groups to analyze Instagram posts from the Black at Has Instagram account. So can you talk a little bit about the history of these events? Yeah, so um, the Diversity Conference is currently four years old, and it was originally started by students, now alums, um, Imani Wright, Leila Syed, Kate, and Katie Smith, um, who, after going to the Student Diversity Leadership Conference, or SDLC, which is um, part of like the National Association of Independent Schools um, Conference, um, they wanted to take direct action at our schools, uh, and so they started planning for the first uh, annual conference. And Another part um, of the planning uh, came from an AIM survey, um, which uh, directed the work and direction of the conference and what Holton, the Holton community needed um, at the time. As for the lunch forums, I believe they were started in 2018 but died out and we restarted them this year over the summer to address issues in our community and to continue the conversation throughout the entire year. So who is involved in leading and planning these events? How does someone get involved if they're interested? Well, this is definitely a community effort that takes more than all of us presented today. So we have roughly 50 10th through 12th graders involved as facilitators. Um, the facilitators apply in the fall and the diversity subcommittee has to read through all those applications. And with each year we've had more applicants actually, which is very impressive and we're proud that the community is getting more involved with this as well. And we always like to emphasize that even if um, once you are selected to be a facilitator or part of the steering committee, um, that doesn't mean anti-racism work, diversity work is over because these positions aren't milestones, they aren't um, achievements in diversity or anything. We are not experts and we are not the ultimate woke students of Holton. Instead, everyone part of the steering committee and everyone who are, who are facilitators are all constantly learning and growing and, um, and fixing their blind spots and improving their view on the world in our community. What do you all hope upper school students and middle school students for that matter, take away from these experiences? The goal we have for the students is to normalize difficult conversations and create an environment that fosters growth, allyship, and advocacy. In normalizing those difficult conversations, we want, to, we want the students to learn the importance of listening and respecting each student's opinions, keeping an open mind, and being accepting of mistakes rather than saying the perfect thing. We also want, our, we also want the students to be committed to action within our school and to really want to continue this DEI work past the conference and the Let's Talk About It forums. 
And then for the marginalized students in this primarily white institution, we want them to feel heard during these conversations and we want them to feel that there is work that's happening in this school and that work will continue. Can you talk about the importance of student leadership in equity work? Of course. So it's important that students have the opportunity to like lead and engage in their passions, especially for the topic of equity work. Um, like realistically, a lot of the change in our community starts with the students. And while we don't want students to feel as though they're being tokenized, especially mar marginalized students, um, it's usually our own initiative that helps things, you know, get the ball rolling for the rest of our community. We also think that um, because we're also students that we can kind of like address problems student body faces and kind of take a more personal approach with it and kind of like have a better sense of like what like our peers need and like the kind of conversations that our peers want to have. And we also think that since like, 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 uh, like we're peer facilitating and it's like st other students that are uh, kind of like in the conversation with you and only students most of the time. Um, there's less of like this whole like classroom or like graded aspect that might happen when it's like with teacher facilitators. And so it, like we hope that encourages students to take risks and be less afraid of like saying like something like wrong and just kind of being more um, like leaning into discomfort, um, which is one of our norms um, during the discussion. Right. Can you share a little bit, each of you, about what this work means to you as a student and an individual? For me, definitely the entirety of the diversity conference and like the planning has been so, you know, core to my experience at Holton. Like this is what I have taken away from my time at Holton, definitely. Um, and I think that the best part of what this work means to me is actually being able to engage with my peers across like grade divisions and being able to like hear their points of view that I otherwise wouldn't have heard and otherwise wouldn't have been exposed to in this, you know, academically focused, you know, predominantly white institution. Um, <laughs> so for me, I feel like, um, like as a person of color, I feel like I just have a lot of emotions um, <laughs> that I, before like the first diversity conference freshman year that I didn't really know what to do with. But after like the first ever participating in the first diversity conference, I realized that they're like, kind of like that, like this work, it was as a way for me to kind of channel that energy into what I think is productive a change. And so this, that's what this work means to me. To me, I feel that the importance of having student involvement with this and why I enjoy doing this work so much is that I feel like I'm contributing to making this community more of a comfort space for maybe those in this predominantly white institution that might not have felt that before or want to feel more included in a sense, especially working with the Black Student Union as well. I feel like Diversity Steering Committee gives me a great opportunity to do that. To me, this work means a lot because it is able to reach the, the student body and the entirety of the student body and how, you're, how we're able to get people engaged in this work and want to keep doing this work in, in through the future. And it's not just only a few people or just a, the administration that's doing this work. It is every single person in this school who's contributing um, I think similar to what everyone else has already said, um, I love the Holton community so much and because I love it so much, I want to help make it a more welcoming, a more inclusive and equitable space for everyone, not just those who are privileged, but for all groups of the Holton community. And I think that my work on the Diversity Steering Committee helps contribute to that. Um, and on a more personal level, I would say, because um, my parents, who immigrated to the United States, sent me to Holton to get um, a fantastic education and into college. I want to, I guess, repay them back a little, help make Holton um, leave an impact on the Holton community and hopefully an impact that will still remain um, even once I've graduated and have gone on to the future.
that. Through this work, I've definitely noticed myself finding a voice as I've evolved and learned a lot more about my own identity as well as other people and being a better ally to others. Um, but also um, having this new voice, I feel this space or these spaces give me an outlet to use my voice and to be a champion for change and to advocate for people that look like myself and other BIPOC students. Um, and I continue to be energized from this work because I don't feel burdened by, I don't feel burdened with this responsibility to teach my peers about what it's like to be a BIPOC student in this space. Um, but learning from students from all walks of life um, has given me an opportunity to learn with my community and not just teach my community, which has been super rewarding and special about this. What do you want the greater Holton community to know about the diversity conference and let's talk about it? I think the most important thing for our community to know is that this is for all students. It's not just for students that are part of marginalized groups, it's for all students, no matter who you may be, what groups you're a part of, what you've experienced. This is a learning space for everyone and people should embrace it as such. Wonderful. Well, I can't thank you enough for sharing all of this with the community. I can't express enough how much of a joy it is to work with each of you. Um, you're an amazing group of leaders. Our school is lucky to have you. Your peers are lucky to have you. And I'm lucky to have you. So thank you so much for talking to our community about the student-led diversity efforts here at Holton.